buying something new is not always an option and sometimes it's actually not the right answer either. In this video, I'm going to give you tips as a designer as to how you can reimagine your space and really get the most out of things that are free. So the very first tip is pretty simple. It's do a deep clean. Go through the things that you have and see if you can really update the space and make it feel cleaner. And if you have any leftover paint, give the room a refresh. Sometimes you just need a little bit of a repaint to make a space feel clean and more organized somehow again. And especially when you're just living in a space, there's just little nicks and dings and all that. So that'll cover those things up and just make the space feel fresh again. Going along the same lines is going through your own stuff. Literally pull everything out of your closet, pull everything out of your garage, have a look and see what you have because sometimes the things that we have are going to be the most personable and the most unique to us. And having those things on display, just continue to highlight who you are and what's going to make you happy. And these are obviously very unique things. They can be anything from metals to vases to uh, things that you got on a faraway trip. Having those things displayed really adds to the personality of a space and showcases who you are. So go through things, see if there's any connections between things, whether that may be the colors that are shown, the patterns, or just the fact that they just make you happy. Having those things on display will really help with your mental health and just the personalization of the space to make it feel like it is you. Because if you think about it, if you go down to the store, buy a vase, there's only gonna be five vases available and it looks like every other Tom, Dick and Harry's house. So if you have something that you've already found and you've already collected, it's going to be much more unique for you. Now this is going to be a weird one and I know some people will not like this, but go to your parents' house or your grandparents' place and ask for things that they have. Now I'm not saying to like just go to your parents' house and be like, yo, I want your couch. Can I just take that home with me. Now what I'm suggesting is to go into their home and see if there's something that they may not necessarily find much value in but really reminds you of them. I know within my own family my mum loved this piece of artwork that our grandparents had and she actually asked for it and they said yes and now we have that in our space and every time you look at it you always just think of them and it makes you feel like that they're there with you even though they're not. And I think that's a really unique thing that I don't think people really think about. And of course, ask politely. If they say no, that's totally fine. But sometimes getting things from family members, whether that be, yes, your parents or grandparents or siblings or even a really close friend, Sometimes you can get items that mean a lot to you, but maybe don't mean that much to them. This next one, I know you've heard plenty of times before, but Facebook Marketplace or any of those online sort of spaces are great for getting free items. I have personally gotten some really cool pieces of furniture for free, all very cheap at the very least. I went through this little phase of wanting to furniture flip and I really did try and give it a go. Personally, it wasn't for me, but I did find this piece on Facebook Marketplace that was for free and I repainted it and made it new and gave it a new life and it was really cool and really unique. I actually kind of wish that I kept it but I did end up selling it on. I think that is probably one of the best places to find really unique pieces that can either A be for free or B be for cheap. B B for cheap. <laughs> Now along similar lines to the Facebook Marketplace one is drive around your neighborhood. You never know when there is going to be rubbish collections and okay, yes, I know you have to dumpster dive a little bit, but if you can find a really cool piece, I actually think it's worth it. Obviously give it a clean, make sure that there's not crazy stains on it or doesn't smell weird. Obviously do your due diligence. I actually know people that love doing this and they'll go to like the richer suburbs and go during their rubbish collection times to see if they can score some really cool pieces. And you'd be surprised as to what you can find. You can find small things like plates and cutlery and anything in those sorts of realms all the way up to like really large, nice pieces of furniture like sofas and buffet tables. So it's certainly possible to find some really cool things. Now, as a final tip, this isn't necessarily about trying to find something that is free. This is about trying to figure out why you don't like your space now. So what I want you to do is to take a photo of your space. And if you're super techie, Photoshop things out. If you're not super techie, that's totally fine. Just use your finger and cover any item that you have. So maybe you'll start with the artwork. And if you can see that you still like the space without the artwork, perhaps you don't actually like the artwork all that much and they can either be moved or replaced. If you put your finger over something and you go, oh no, I really dislike the space without this, you know that that is something that you really like and want to keep in your space. 
So have a little play with it and see what are the key elements that really make you love your space and reflects you as well. Sometimes you'll need to reorganize furniture and play around with the layout as well. So don't be afraid to actually move things around, take photos again, and then see the side-by-side -side comparisons and see if you actually like it. For this space that I'm currently in, originally I had the room reversed, so completely flipped. And I quickly realized that I did not like walking into this room and seeing a TV as my first thing. So I flipped the room around and now when you walk in, you see a really cool couch instead of the TV. And I much prefer that. You can also do this as well with inspiration spaces. So cover it, see whether or not the item that you have covered actually creates the space for you or detracts from the space. And that's how you can figure out what your personal style is really, really quickly. So yeah, that's how you can transform your home with no money at all, just zero dollars and you can have a completely rejuvenated space. Obviously you can keep a whole bunch of items and rotate things out to continue making it fresh, but sometimes you can forget about those things. So it's always good to have a little deep clean, have a look around, go through Facebook Marketplace or any of those other websites to see if there's something else that could work nicely in your space. And that'll end up slowly building up something that you can really like and really enjoy. But if you are still struggling with it, there is an alternative option. I do a series on this channel called Home Review. So pretty much what it is, is you send in photos of your space and what you like, what you dislike and how you'd like it to change. And I will go ahead and create that space for you. We discuss why certain spaces aren't working and how we can improve them with pretty simple and easy steps. So if you'd like to be a part of Home Review, the link will be in the description and I will see you on our next design adventure.